All right, I'm gonna show you the most simple way to plumb this Marine Land 125. It's got an overflow and return there, and then an overflow and return over here. I'll show you this side. And then, pretty simple actually. Just going into my Ruby sump. I think it's a 36 gallon. Anyway, I'll show you the the overflow I can get behind the skimmer and then heart plumbed in there double 45 directly into the uh, into the sump and then the return okay I'll show you the other side as well just one union for the long side I know everybody says union 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 but um so I don't remember the brand of this return pump, but the bottom piece is not hard plumbed in. But everything from the flow the flow valve all the way up to here is hard plumbed, and except for the barb fittings. So it does my returns. And then here's my Reef Octopus 152 that I did an air mod to. Pretty simple, but this thing goes out of tune. So often. I mean, right now it's producing a good foam head. Let's see if you can see it. Right now it's producing a pretty good foam head, but it goes out of tune so often. I feel like I have to tune it like every week. I'm trying to grow some Kato, but every Kato or every algae but the Kato grow. Pretty big Eheim's um, heater that I have double mounted off the floor just in case. Let's see what's my let's, let's see my stock list. Most of it's not most of it. About half of it's new because I had a um, a cardinal that I didn't. I had two cardinal fish that I didn't quarantine, and I'm pretty sure they brought something in and killed off my old stock list. I had I had a blue tang die, a flame angel die, the two cardinals. Actually, that one in the back survived, but two cardinals, and then I had my Valentini puffer die, and I had what else did I have die? Oh, I don't even remember. But yeah, quarantine your fish. The sailfin, the yellow tang, and the coral beauty just came out of quarantine. Did 30 days of copper. I don't remember if I medicated the food or not, but um, I have a sailfin, yellow tang, blue tang, two clowns, two firefish, two hawkfish, um, a red stripe, and a flame hawk. The flame hawk beats up the red stripe every now and again. The, the red stripe used to be the predator of the tank. He killed chromies, he picked on everything. And then I had a pink spot goby that I put in here too. He was came out of the copper quarantine but um the, the flame hawk just picked on him way too much so he's in quarantine now next to my purple tang that's in quarantine let's see if i can get the glare oh you can kind of see the blue on him again yeah i want to keep adding more fish suits i just want i need some purple fish some green fish this tank's been up and running for about a year now. The, the two clownfish that I have and the two hawkfish I've had for about two years now. And I've just been moving them from tank to tank. And then I went crazy with the blue clownfish. I mean, these guys still got some pretty good blue on them. If the camera picks it up, there you go. But let's see my other my other blues here's one if it doesn't I don't know what all this white stuff is on the glass but let's see if uh, yeah you can kind of see the blue on that guy and then here's my other prize possession blues oh, the camera's not gonna pick it up now because all the glass is dirty come on there's one Show me the blue. You can 
can kind of see it now there. But those are my prize fish.